Hello, and welcome to today's second step lesson on making a plan. We're going to start off with the step up music video. Listen for the last two problem solving steps E and P. Here's a great way to remember Keep it strong in your head, yeah After the storm of strong emotions Here's the way to solve the problem, yeah I said step, step I just remember to step, step Oh child As you say the problem out loud now G Solutions that may work and how e. Explore consequences, what would happen if e. Now pick the best solution and make your plan, yeah You got to step, step Step up to be cool, yeah S-T-E-P Give your power now After the storm of strong emotion S-T-E-P Solve the problem now Now listen to me all you good people there's nothing wrong with strong emotion But after you calm it down You still got a problem, see? Now you gotta fix it And you can Oh, you yeah, step up Let me show ya Say you're in line and a kid come cuts in front of ya Whoa, that make you mad, brothers and sisters So feel it and calm it And take another look, yeah step. Whoa, let me show ya now you say the problem out loud now You both want to be first in line No blame Now think solutions that may work and how Now these gotta be safe and respectful No pushing, no shoving, see? Explore consequences, what would happen if How will other people feel? How will you feel? Will it work? Now pick the best solution and make your plan, yeah Choose it and act on it you got to step, step, step up to be cool, yeah. S T E P. Give your power now after the storm of strong emotion. S T E P. Solve the problem now. S. You say the problem out loud now. G. Now think solutions that may work and how. E. Explore consequences. What would happen if? E. Now pick the best solution. And make your plan, yeah You got to step, step I just remember to step, step Oh, child, yeah Say you wanna step, step uh. You got to step, you got to step, step uh. Oh, yeah Step <laughs> Sometimes the solution to a problem is simple for example, two siblings who both wanted to play a video game could go through the problem-solving steps and decide that the best solution was to take turns playing. This is a one-step solution. But other times, the best solution to a problem is not so simple. Sometimes you need a plan. To solve a more complicated problem, you need to make a plan. Today. We're going to find out how to make a plan. Making a plan involves breaking down a larger task into smaller steps. Planning is important when the solution to a problem is not so simple. As you watch this next video, look for how Lydia makes a plan to carry out the solution to her problem. This whole thing started with this awesome necklace Maria's aunt sent her. Isn't it cool? I've never seen anything like it. It's made out of paper. Anyway, she saw how much I liked it and she lent it to me to wear to this party. Totally cool. That's a good friend. But then things went bad. Really bad. On the way home from the party, it started to rain. Like, complete downpour. 
I wasn't wearing a coat or anything, and the paper necklace was ruined. I mean, we're talking way beyond repair. I really started to panic. Huge problem. Mia's gonna be so mad. She'll never talk to me again. What was I gonna do? Well, I knew that first of all, I needed to calm down. So I did some deep breathing. <sighs> then I thought to myself, okay, the problem is the beads are ruined. What should I do? Tell her it got stolen? Tell her my dog ate it? She was so cool to lend it to me. I couldn't lie to her. It would be really disrespectful and wrong. I decided I had to come clean. <sighs> but it was complicated. There were a lot of things to do to make this right. So I made a pan and wrote it down. What is Lydia's problem? Which solution to the problem does Lydia pick? Is this a one-step solution? What did Lydia do to figure out how to carry out the solution? Think about this question. How would writing down her plan help Lydia? Lydia's solution is a little complicated. She needs to break down the plan into smaller parts. What do you think makes a good plan? Now let's see how Lydia's plan works. There were a lot of things to do to make this right, so I made a pan and wrote it down. It wasn't going to be easy, but it was doable. First, I do a little digging and find out how these beads in this necklace were made. Turns out, all I needed was glue, scissors, magazines, and string. Then, I'd gather the supplies. I'd ask my mom to take me to the store if I needed to buy anything, like glue. Then, I'd need to sit down and make these beads. It's important to me to make sure they looked really good. I didn't care how long it took. They'd be a little different, but they had to be cool. Then, I had to tell Maria. Yikes. It really bummed her out that I wrecked the necklace but she understood it was an accident. It all worked out. Maria forgave me. She loved the new necklace and wanted to know how I did it. Now we're making them together. Now that's a great friend. What are some of the things you noticed Lydia doing when she made her plan? Does the order of Lydia's plan make sense? Does she have enough time to do it? Is it not too complicated? Is she able to carry it out? And do you think Lydia made a good plan? Here are some final questions to ask yourself. Why is it important to make plans? Do you write down your plans? And why is it helpful to write it down? Finally, what makes a good plan? Think about some things that you're doing in class now that a plan would help you accomplish. Thank you for joining me today for today's second step lesson on making a plan. I look forward to doing another second step lesson with you soon. Have a good morning, have a good afternoon, and have a good night.